You don't need to worry about this shirt. It's not that big of a deal. Welcome back, everybody. We're, we're playing the, the new weekly. It's the first Super Auto Pets video recorded post-vacation, and I'm still on island time. Island time, you went to Alaska. There's islands in Alaska. Um, Ketchikan, Alaska is on one of them, I promise you. By the way, I'll be a smooth noob. Seems just about perfect. I would not be a friendly joker because I do not dare invoke the wrath of the joker. Perhaps you've heard of him. He's uh, Gotham's greatest clown. I love this team, by the way. I, I'm taking crickets only because there's two of them. So it, it literally just worked out for us, but I like that there's a good chance to level up. Here's my beat on the weekly so far. Rounds one uh, to two, not that important, unless maybe you can snag yourself some frilled dragons and some uh, faint triggers. Otherwise, you want ants and you want the two threes. You want a marmoset, you want a duck. My, or you want to go ducklings, and then you sell the ducklings into another unit. Mid-game, if you don't get a dog or a koala plus yak, best of luck to you try again at tier 5 and tier 6 when the real scalers show up. Ooh, I'm actually, like, no joke, I'm stoked. And I did not mean to rhyme. The reason I'm stoked... It's because I, I, although the dog is boring, <laughs> like, undeniably, it's also the first dog that I've been able to get in the weekly thus far. So, you may find it boring, but I'm gonna take... I gotta at least think about it. I know we passed a yak. That was by design, because I didn't see a koala, but I guess I should probably just... If you see one, you should be like, okay, let's snag the other one. Okay, th this three-pig team is gonna defeat me? Yes. Interesting. A, a, a rare mid-game team, but or early to mid-game team, I suppose, but I, I support it. Let's give it a chance here. Let's get the dog popping a little bit. Let's get a koala out there. I would pill my other ant, get another koala out there, and then, do, can I be honest with you? I feel like having a like an elephant attack the dog, it'll like get hit for one, but then it'll get a 2-2. Two -two. I don't know, I mean, we just sold a pretty good unit to make that happen, but... No, because my... Well, no, yeah, probably, unless we get sniped. It's weird, maybe it'll be okay until a yak shows up. I mean, I, I don't want to have my dog... Um, die. Oh my god, they got the perfect unit. I don't want to have my first dog run on the weekly just get destroyed. Although that does appear to be how it's going so far. Um, I would definitely, even though I did just give you a croissant, you're gonna need some garlic. That's, it's just inevitable. And then you gotta still invest, man. And I'm, I'm a believer in this koalas, like, until yaks show up sort of deal. I could pill. I know we lose one in the process, but we get another stat point, and then we sell you, and then we get to three. And then, honestly, I would add a duckling, because I think we're going to want to add an, a different unit at some point, and the duckling is actually, like, a really nice scaler. Like, kind of a, a fun team to sort of run. My god, he's a genius. Look at this. Uh, never mind, we still had destroyed. <laughs> a fun team to run is just like rounds one and two, get as many ducklings as possible. Maybe you get two, maybe you get lucky and you get three. Then you're off to the races with the unit that you buy right after. So here's what I'm thinking. I want this, I want this, I want to roll. I want to sell a duckling into a yak. It's very important that the yak comes out here. I, would pro I, I can't sell an elephant and buy a bunch of other units. Here's what I would do. I'd buy a dolphin. Get a little snipe out there. I can do this. I'm okay with that. And obviously we want to level two. We got gold. We got gold. We got gold. Don't desync me. We got gold. You want a cucumber. Um, I, I'll, I'll just tell you straight up. Like, I don't think it's over for this squad yet. We got decent scaling. We have decent units. We have a dog. Like, obviously our margin for error is really bad. But, it's not that bad, because we just went around, so obviously we know what we're doing. This elephant strat makes no sense, though. It's, it's becoming increasingly clear how stupid that is. Um, this makes sense, though. Would I be willing, for one stat point, to go badger sell, then buy a rooster? 
Is a rooster likely to be the best unit I can find here? I would say in a, in a world where we could reliably scale it, the answer is probably yes. Instead, we're gonna roll once and then do like essentially exactly the same plan. <laughs> I don't know, like a five, you know, we'd probably rather have a rooster, sure. That seems to make sense to me. And then the koala is going to take you to 10-10. We got a 10-10, a 14-12, and a decent sniper. There's a chance. Snipe, oh, you're going to snipe a lynx. Ooh, I wish you wouldn't have. I wish you would have. Ooh, no, not a, a turtle. We drew. Holy cow. Even with that turtle, I can't believe it. Okay, you need one of these, or maybe some garlic. Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I still like what this dolphin's doing for us. Obviously, I would love if we could get a, like a dog that was popping a little bit. Let's freeze one at like a level two dog, for example. You could also, we could start talking about selling a dolphin. <clears throat> you could run dragonfly, and then you really, I mean, we're gonna buff a koala because we have to. I would love to buff our dog dog at the back kind of sucks though everything else can be in whatever order okay okay i i'm a big believer in the dragonfly i actually think i heavily underrated this the first few times i used it um because i mean one one it's kind of like a like a slightly better giraffe is how it seems at first but i think it has the potential to be like a even slightly better than that giraffe giraffe hey look at this three wins hold on we'd really like to level to the yak or level to the um the dog as soon as possible pears are good but i think you got to start with a little cow here let's scale this yak it could use the hp disproportionately so i certainly do think that a a Caterpillar could work on this squad. We'd have to get it to go pretty quick, though. I'm going to freeze for a second. I think a hawk can kind of go off, too. It's, honestly, a hawk is, like, great anti-shark technology. I'm in, the, I'm in the rolling miasma now. You should probably take a green pepper. This was not good. I have regrets. I have a cow on my team. We're buffing the units. I... Still want to buff, because we didn't get the units that I wanted to get. You can't run green pepper on Yak, by the way. But, like, the, the problem with the dragonfly is the targeting. But I actually think this is going okay. I think this is going okay. We're not, like, this is not a good 10-piece right now. But it could get to 6 or 7 if things go right. I'm ignoring cans just because I, I feel like we need other units like so desperately. Why don't you take a little buff? We've done nothing for our dog recently. You could sell a cow, run a poodle. You got to put it in the same spot for for goodness' sake here. And you know what? The yak is actually scaling better right now, which is a scary thought. Obviously, the walrus is amazing, but I think we're on a different sort of track right now. We're on a scaling track. Poodle's giving out three buffs. 26, 24. It'd be nice if you had a melon. It'd be nice if you had a green pepper. Ooh, that's, like, highly unfortunate. But am I wrong? Or is the rest of your squad kind of dookie? Do dookie enough to draw. Dookie enough to draw. That chicken team is just gonna get stronger, though. I hope we never have to face them again. So you're giving 2-2 two -two per turn. You're giving 2-2 two -two per turn. We could actually make it go to the yak now. And you're giving 3-3 three, three per turn. This is a hard one for me. I think we got to get rid of you because you're screwing up my positioning. The thing is, the cow is just that much better, right? Like, like the cow gives out all of your stats from a turn and we can buy-sell it. And we can target it easily. Now, the ostrich can kind of go off. And it's a different tier. We got a 3-2-5-2, two, two, so like the koala and the yak are splitting. The poodle no longer goes in like left to right order. Um, I think the ostrich can go off. It, yeah, 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 I think it can. But how are we going to buff the dog here if we don't have a flex position? It's a good question, but you know what? I mean, let's, let's start here. You freeze tier fives in, when you got this going on for you. And then a second poodle. I would definitely... I'm going to run a second poodle. The only question is, 
Are we going to run a second poodle in lieu of a tutu buff from our koala or in lieu of a 2-8 ostrich that's actually going to be a little better now and is going to get a buff? Yeah, I think you got to go because the, the, this ensures that an extra buff will go to our yak from the poodle. So it's basically a, it's a wash. We get like a 2-2 buff as is. Now, I, we could buy sell and then the dog would get some support, but I'd rather just buy the poodle and roll twice to try to make the ostrich get better stats. It actually worked out and I feel like a bit of a genius. Now, you can go to the front, you guys can go to the back. And at least we have two good units. Now, I'm kind of, it, it, it's like revisionist history, right? Like I wish that I had bought a caterpillar, but I, at the time, I don't know where it would have gone. I think it would have temporarily weakened us, weakened us enough to permanently kill us. This is the dream situation, except we're gonna lose. <laughs> the dream situation is always death touch for them at the back, I think. So we, we have four wins. I'm, that's worse, for sure. But, like, worse than, like, that's a bad run, especially with such an early dog. But I had fun regardless. We're gonna roll like a horrible team. But the ducklings give us interesting like lines from that point onwards, I think. Foamy geyser, glistening geyser, these are all perfect. I don't know, it's the first run back from vacation, man. Look, what did I tell you? I'm still on, on island time. So I think they maybe thought that if they put honey on a unit, it would get um, a faint trigger. It's creative, does not work though. I will absolutely, I mean, this is like not a good team. I would roll for better, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll talk about it. We, I guess in theory we could make a super pig, okay? We don't really need a level two pig, but it's something. I think you'd, rather than level up, uh, and I expect to lose this one, because look at our team. Rather than level up, I think you just sell four ducks into your pig, and then have like one huge pig out here. You could do it on the koala too, or the, sorry, the panda too, but... I don't think, because you, you lose 50% of the stats until the panda hits level 2. I think you just go straight at this one right here, and then you level. If you probably buy a snail, uh, buy, a, buy a panda, buy a snail, sell the snail, put meat on your pig, and run the most psychotic 2 squad you've ever seen in your life. This team should not win. <laughs> but it will not win. But I still, like, I it, it traded four for one, man. Uh, technically four for two. But, like, I'm okay with that. I'm not that, I'm not that worried about that. I, I feel like we still got a long way to go. I'll add a stork to the squad, add a spider to the team. This team is still pure garbage. And I'm running out of time to promise you that we're going to get out of it. <laughs> Or am I? Or am I? We, we could really use a big win on the stork here. You spawn like a walrus or something? Maybe a turtle? Uh, maybe a... Oh! Skill difference, baby. Skill difference. Okay. Where are we going with this one? Not spider, I would say. I would say stork can go up. Turtle's just good. The problem is we need to get something for the turtle to hit, and it's not the pig. So I think maybe we pass for now. I'm disrespecting the spider that just helped us, it's true. I know this is, it seems early, but I, I'm not totally sold on this. Maybe I am totally sold on this tropical fish. I'm leaving the duckling, like, I know this looks crazy, by the way, but I mean, it's kind of, it's a crazy time. I'm just trying to figure out, like, I want to sell this duckling into a meaningful unit, but there's no hippo in this pack, so there's, like, no obvious target. Interesting. Interesting approach you got going on here. You're, you're going to eat a little bit of my lunch. I don't think there's any doubt about that. You're going to eat a lot of my lunch? You're going to eat the whole thing. You're going to eat the whole thing. little late for a wasp. Okay, like, I got serious, because this is a serious time right now. I really don't think the kangaroo's doing anything for us, just the way the squad's set up. I love a level two. I would run a buffed dolphin. First, I would add a snail to the squad, just for the raw stats. Let's have our... No, I, I love who's getting the buffs right now. I'll, I'll, let's throw a dolphin out there in this position. 
This is not a good team, but it could outperform your expectations if you think it looks horrible. Because I don't think it's horrible. I just think it's like pretty bad. <laughs> Ah, oh, level 2 panda, the perfect unit. <clears throat> hmm, I would roll? I would- I would add a second dolphin. For the moment. We got a little desync error real quick, it happens. We need like a- a tanky unit. But for the time being, I'm like, I don't- I don't see it really. What I do see is like rearranging the squad thusly. And then... I think you need some meat because you're going to be getting some stats. You're going to be getting some some health, I should say. It's a, it's not the kind of scaling team you're really looking for. <laughs> and you also don't really care too much, I think, about killing your opposition's uh, chicken. But there's a certain je ne sais quoi to this team right now. I think there's a certain something going on here. You're give, we have a total, each one of these is giving us two stat points. So simply by adding a dragonfly, we're doing better. And I would not mind buffing you and you. I think I would be okay with that. So we would just place you like here maybe. You're getting a buff and you're getting a buff. That's fine. Nobody really needs a croissant, I think. There's, there's worse options, but there's better options maybe somewhere. Um, now two of these is, <laughs> I mean, if one's good, two's got to be better. And the same units are going to get the buffs. I do want the pig to get the buff. I think the stork is doing fine, like in a vacuum. I was really looking for a level there. That's okay. It happens. Big snipe. I thought I had two dolphins for some reason. Probably because I said, yeah, I'll run two dolphins earlier. I'm starting to have some questions. I'm starting to have some concerns. Hold on. This team can do it. Dude, it can draw. It can draw! Okay. I lived. We could outperform our last run. This is a gimme. No, no. Not interested. We got no level threes. Dude, I think we need to fish for chocolate. I, as much as, like, a can is always pretty good. I think we got to fish for chocolate. Hold on. You got... How many? You got 29, you got 19. Okay, so you're taking this. Chocolate me? Chocolate? Okay. What do you go with on chocolate? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go dolphin, but it's gonna screw up our pig scaling. Which sucks pretty bad. I think we freeze this. This is around where I just want to live. And I think it's, it's, it's actually pretty good. Do I want to screw up my pig scaling, or do I want this pig to pop? Problem is I have to put... You know what? You, this is fine. You could be the furthest left level 2 unit, and the squad layout doesn't look horrible. We knew the Dragonfly was going to get buffed. Last weekly, I was having... Oh, this is a strong team, man. <laughs> Last weekly, I was having a lot of fun and a lot of luck with a level... A, a self-buffing Dragonfly. I'm just going to be honest. You're not going to be level 3 Koala, Yak, um... Poodle. Like, that, that team's just going to defeat you, and that's okay. Let me look. 4 one four, two. So you're generating three stat points for us per turn, and you're generating two. Okay. The buffs still make sense. At this point, you need one of these. Chocolate for our dragonfly would be really nice. Don't really feel like the stork needs much more, to be honest with you. I do feel like, uh, like the meat is worth something. But I also feel like the green pepper is sort of, like, necessary at some point. Like, at some point you're going to want to pivot. Why not do it when it's available in the shop? I've been sniped. You've been sniped. We, we definitely lose this, right? We definitely lose. Not by as much as I thought. This is a big gerbil at the back. Okay. Honestly, I think we've been beaten by some canned teams. And, and dare I suggest, perhaps even some chicken teams. The other thing I'll say, and this is not meant to be, uh, like, copium necessarily. I don't think we've read, except for that dog run, which is one of the two runs we've had. Um, we haven't really had, like, smooth sailing. I've had a lot of situations where I'm like, I'm compromising right now. Which is fine. 
Like I don't I never wanted to run duckling into pig necessarily. It just sort of that's that's the that's what life gave me, you know? And I think we're going to try that. I I don't want to get rid of two of like one, two, three to add another two, one to the team. But the, an ant isn't really a two, one. It's kind of like a four, two. You just can't control where the buff goes. The thing is, sometimes the buff goes to the best place possible. Like sometimes if I controlled the buff, I'd put it on a bad unit. The ant is like, no, I know better. Don't do that. Okay, so this time I think we got some self-explanatory stuff. I think you're going big yak. Three, nine yak comes out here. You probably get ready to pill an ant. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. So we freeze one. You don't need a, a croissant. You need, well, yeah, honestly, early? Why don't we give you a croissant? Even if we're gonna give you a cucumber later. I wanted the level. I'm gonna take the level. I don't really want a wasp. But I'll tell you, I think I would sell... <sighs> no. Although you, a wasp getting two extra... No, because we can just give it a green pepper later. Like, we could s <laughs> sell an ant, buy a duckling, sell a duckling, feed the wasp, it'll be a 2-4, pill the other ant. No, I think we'd rather save two pills. I think, and, and if it doesn't hit our, uh, if it doesn't hit our wasp, then so be it. But I, I think it's, the, the wasp, it, if you get it on turn three, it doesn't matter what it does until turn five. That's basically the, the meat and potatoes of it. Okay, it's honestly just, I, I'm not mad. It's just terrible ant luck. I think with better ant luck, we probably could have drawn, even though their team was better. Admittedly better. Koala is necessary here. Let's start wasp, pill, hit the wasp. That's the worst that that could have gone, obviously. Uh, koala, move your yak up. I sell? You know what? I would sell the marmoset. Our order was a little screwed up. I would buy a sleeping pill. Please hit the wasp. Nice. That's that's something. I would croissant a wasp and pray. Um, this team is bad. I, this is where I should acknowledge. I'm actually not confident with the the yak, and I'm like anti-confident with the wasp. So. Uh, I'm really running like this. Is, let's call this what it is for me. It's a bit of an away game. So I'm going to need a little bit of help. Two yaks is great. Just uh, three, sorry, two koalas. Three koalas is fantastic. And we know we're going to be running koala for a bit if we don't die immediately. A lollipop can actually be really useful for our wasp. I think you can save it too. But let, let's just get these koalas popping a little bit. The yak no longer needs um, a croissant. The, the yak could have garlic instead. I think that that's more meaningful. We're probably going to die. But I'm telling you, if you had 20 lives, this team would pop. <laughs> Thank you. Um, obviously, we don't. I don't really want a lollipop yet, but I don't want to lose my lollipop either. I guess. And then we'll run slightly under squatted. This doesn't seem right. This. Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> I feel like this team is like, if you could, it's like when like Hearthstone creators review the set before they get a chance to actually play with the cards. Like this team is so insanely great on paper and so unbelievably trash um, in vivo, which unfortunately is where the real world takes place. So that was embarrassing, zero. But at least it's a noteworthy run. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. it feels happy. To, it feels good to be back, and I'll see you next time. Click the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time. See ya.